Good afternoon, everyone. Today is April the 30th, and it's a nice sunny afternoon. And today I'm going to talk about our Can-Am Spider. Um, I'm also going to show you my helmet setup for shooting video with the action camera. I'm going to include a little bit of footage from a ride I took a couple of days ago, so you can see what the whole thing looks like. This is our 2016 Can-Am Spider. We purchased the bike in June of 2018, um, but it was brand new even though it's a 2016. Um, it had zero kilometers on it when I picked it up. We've uh, put well over 7,000 kilometers on it since we got it. We've been away on one pretty significant trip um, with it together. And I'm going to give you a brief tour of some of the things that we've done to the bike since we've owned it. I guess the primary thing that we've done, originally the bike did not have that case on the back. And uh, so we added that for more storage for luggage when we go away. And the other part of that was it gave us a passenger backrest. The original bike was just, had nothing back there. So this gave us a backrest for the passenger and also increased the storage markedly on the bike. The other modification that I've made to the bike since I've owned it is I have replaced the OEM windshield. The bike originally comes with a, what's called a sports windshield and I put this windshield on. It's uh, 12 inches taller and 9 inches wider and I'll drop a link in the description below to that to where that can be purchased for any of you that might be interested in it. I'm very happy with the results. It punches a much bigger hole in the wind and keeps the helmet noise down and reduces the helmet buffeting from wind, um, especially for the passenger. The spiders are a lot of fun to ride on and give you an, a kind of an extra feeling of a bit of security because you're riding on three wheels instead of two. Um, this particular model, in fact all the Spider models now, are um, powered by a 1330cc Rotax engine. Um, Rotax is a company that, that's uh, um, out of Austria and they make a full line of engines for vehicles like this, um, including um, small aircraft engines actually, they, they make a line of th those as well. Um, so it moves right along and we're very very happy with the, with the Spider. So I thought I would also show you a view of the Spider with all of its storage compartments open. This is what we uh, in the Spider world called the frunk. That's a little trunk at the front and uh, you can fit uh, one full face helmet in there or whatever else you want to store. The next uh, pieces of storage are the side bags. Some people call them panniers or panners. Um, so they both flip open one on either side and you can get a lot of stuff in there. They're actually a lot, a lot deeper than they look. And this is a view of the rear storage compartment open. Um, this storage compartment will fit two full face helmets side by side. And it also has a little USB charging port with uh, two outlets in it so you can put things that need to be recharged and that is powered when the bike is running. And the last little compartment is up here on the dash and inside there is another USB connector uh, where you can actually put uh, a phone or an iPod or, um, on that and um, the sound of music, if you've got on it, will come out through the speakers um, in the front. So that's an overview of the storage on the Spider. So this is my setup for the camera on the helmet. This is a, an Acaso V50 Pro camera and um, it's not a GoPro, but it's kind of what I decided to start with just to make sure that um, I was going to enjoy doing this. But this mounted to the side of the helmet just uh, 
below where the face shield folds down and that is the microphone that's hooked up to the camera so it's just sort of wedged down beside the cheek pad of my helmet and this other microphone is the microphone that's connected to our intercom system between our two helmets um, and that works really well we can talk to each other while we're riding um, the little unit which is on the side of the other side of the helmet gives us uh, you can get FM radio you can hook it up by Bluetooth to your phone or an iPad and play music over it it's a pretty good little device but uh, it's just another view of the setup of the Acaso. Came with all the mounts, it was very well equipped. So this last part of the video, uh, I'm just riding up County Road 507, which runs between Buckhorn and Gooderham. It's about a 40 kilometer stretch, um, lots of fun to ride on lots of twisties and turnies so uh, as you'll hear um, we still are getting a fair bit of uh, wind noise coming into the microphone inside the helmet um, I have edited out the sound from the microphone that is mounted right on the camera which is the the internal microphone but we're still getting a fair bit of wind noise I'm sure that I can correct this by just relocating the microphone inside the helmet to another area or burying it more into the cheek pad to stop this from happening. Um, but we're just sort of coming into town here, starting to slow down, and uh, we'll eventually just park the bike, and that'll be the end of our video for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon.